and we're back welcome to another budget gem or budget bust series video i know this has been a long time coming um because i've been moving and i'm finally in the new test lab everything is back to being set up for the most part um but we are finally ready to test out this amplifier here which is the rockville db 45. So we're going to be unboxing this amplifier here today as well as giving it a run on our dyno and we're going to find out just how well or how badly this amp performs. Um, this amp was uh, provided to me by Rockville Audio. Um, they retail for about $119.95 shipped which if you go by their CEA ratings is a stupid value. And what I mean by stupid value is this thing is rated at, right here, uh, four channels at four ohms, 135 watts at 1% THD, and at two ohms, 200 watts by four uh, with 1% THD. So they're saying you can get roughly 800 watts of class AB full range power for 119 bucks, huh? You know, if this is when I got back into car audio, and this thing said Rockford Fosgate, if this thing said Hyphonics, if this thing said, well, maybe not Hyphonics, um, if this thing had said um, MTX, if this said any of those other brands, when I got the car, JL didn't even make an amplifier. This would have been the 800A4 back in the day, and this was about a thousand bucks. And now, same power, Class AB, 119. Now I'm not trying to say this is the same quality as an 800A4. I'm not going to pretend that because you could buy an 800A4 rock for today from 20 years ago and likely it still works. I'm not saying this is going to last 20 years. I'm just saying power wise this is comparable and it's 119 bucks. That's stupid. Okay. But is it really really do that? You know I mean there's the whole point of this channel is finding that not everyone is legit with what they're saying that their your amp is rated at. We found a lot of busts, we found a lot of gems. So we're gonna find out now if Rockville is a gem or a bust. And uh, they must be pretty confident because they sent this to me free of charge to test out. Uh, and I'm kinda happy they did. So the DB14 we tested was legit. Let's check the 45. So let's just jump right to it. Let's unbox this bad boy right now. Okay, opening her up. And first thing we get, of course, is our owner's manual and our uh, birth sheet. And again, you know, just like in the DB14 and the DB16 I tested, I just, I just don't trust that this is the actual birth sheet for this amp. And what I mean by that is that, you know, this whole thing was all kind of printed together here, all right? Um, except this, this is just, a, this is the serial number and it's a sticker. Now let's compare that to this. This is a Rockford Fosgate uh, birth sheet. Now, if you could see on here, right at the top, everything is all printed together. You know, we have the, uh, the model number on there, the serial number, the date of birth on there, how it was tested. And it's just not like perfectly presented, you know, other than like here and some there, the, uh, the printing's a little offset. It looks like it was just, it was typed in and then printed, you know? So it's very specific for that amp. This, you know, and, and I'm not trying to bust Rockford, Rockville's like chops on this, because at least it's nice they're trying to do something on here. I just don't think that this is really what this does, you know. Um, it, 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 might, it might be close and everything, but I just, I don't know, I don't believe it. Plus, I mean, these things, they're all tested in China. The guy that tested his name's Lucas. Who, Lucas, who are you? Um, so, I don't know. That's just my gut feeling on here, okay? 
I mean, I really don't think this is, because this isn't a sealed up thing. I mean, it's just a whole thing. I just don't trust it, okay? Um, next, what you get in here, of course, you get the product warranty card. It's a one-year warranty. And, of course, a manual for the whole DB series. So that's good. And, of course, we have in here, anything else? Uh, there's no base knobs or anything like that. But you do get uh, the Allen keys for it and some additional fuses. And last but not least, uh, I do like how Rockville protects the product uh, for shipping. Just toss the box out of the way here. We don't need that. And we get dun -dun -dun, one amplifier. So very very nice of course this is an led just like in the db 14 it'll actually in the 16 it'll light up um when the amp is ready to go and let's just i know i briefly talked about the specs before but let's see if i can pull up in here exactly what they are of course it gives you how to hook it up all the different ways you can do things okay so here you go here are the ratings i'll take a picture of this so you get a better view of it and I do like how they try to like push forward on these, the CEA ratings, because the CEA numbers, these are really what's important, you know, because that's really the true RMS of the amp. And this amp is rated, of course, at uh, uh, two ohms by four channels, 200 watts, 1% THD, four ohms, 135 by four, and bridged 400 by two. Um, of course, when we slap this up on the Amp Dyno, we're only going to do bridge tests. So we're going to be looking for uh, 270 by 2 at 8 ohms and 400 by 2 at uh, 4 ohms bridged. Um, what I don't love about these are these additional RMS numbers, which are, these are like, well, you know, if you believe shit ratings like um, power acoustic, which not all power acoustics are rated terribly, as I found out, um, or some badly rated like sound streams or some of those are hyphonics. They're like, well, here's these numbers. And then if you like boss and you like boss ratings, here's your peak number. It's just like three number number. Just, just stop. You know, you can be a budget brand and give the real number, and people who know better are going to be like, yeah, that's the one. But they're trying to cater to all three crowds, you know, the low-level boss people, the kind of mid or mid low-level um, people with that, that typically buy like power acoustic and iphonics, and then of course your people that just buy like decent brands and just look for what the amp really does. Okay, so I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad sales strategy or a bad marketing strategy is just something that I kind of like, yeah, you know, I try to say what's the most honest way and you know, at least they give you that with the CEA. So let's now check out the sides of the amp. Along this side of the amplifier, we have our power inputs as well as our speaker output terminals, as well as our fuses. Um, over here, we have our uh, power and ground. This is the ground, this is the power as well as the remote. Um, these will take up to four gauge inputs on each. And over here, um, you can squeeze, squeeze 12 gauge into each of these. Now, with an amp this size, I really, really wish they are giving you a little bit more room for the uh, speaker input terminals, but you kind of get what you get. Um, I also don't like how it's angled down. It kind of creates a, a little bit of a nightmare when you're trying to squeeze a higher gauge wire in there. Um, and then you've also got to angle it down with the uh, the worm screws. So kind of is what it is. But overall, it's not that bad. And you know, if you're using a higher gauge wire, if you use like a 14 gauge, you'll, you won't even notice it at all. Um, fuses here, of course, you've got three 35 amp fuses for a total of 105 amps. <laughs> so uh, your four channel amp here can pull some current according to the fuses here, which, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how exactly uh, many amps this thing will pull. Along this side of the amplifier, we have all of our settings, 
as well as our um, RCA inputs. Uh, of course, you get you know, all your RCAs here. They're just a cheaper style RCAs, but again, it's $119. You're not gonna get Tiffany style RCAs at $119. Uh, you have individual gains here for channel three, uh, three and four, and one and two. Um, you can do a high pass filter um, from 60 to 1.2 kilohertz, or 60 to 1.2 kilohertz as well for the rears, or channel three and four, I should say. Uh, you have a low pass filter adjustable from 250 hertz down to 50 hertz. Um, you have a crossover here. You can do full high pass or low pass. Uh, you can't do any type of band passing with it and there is no subsonic filter and of course they do have a bass equalizer here otherwise known as your uh, bass boost uh, always leave that off but it is adjustable from 0 to 12 dbs um, in case you do happen to want to use one of the channels um, uh, as a sub only which you could do i mean this is a uh, it's rated at 400 watts at four ohms bridged so that's plenty for a subwoofer all right, popping the back plate off, and let's check out some of these guts. Ooh, very nice, large size, class A, B goodness in here. Um, we have caps here. They are from CapCop, and they are 3300 microfarad, uh, 50 volts, and 105 degrees Celsius. Um, that's on these caps right here. Um, these smaller caps over here, they're all 105 degrees as well. Um, so that's good, which gives you nice longevity with this. Um, just like the other Rockville amp I said, these transformers could be seated just a wee bit better. Um, they're, they're still pretty good. You just definitely don't want to mount these to a box or you want a, some type of uh, vibration dampening on these to kind of keep them from wiggling themselves or you can just go in there and blast a bunch of silicon over them and uh, they'll definitely make it to where they can't move um, but other than that um, very nicely laid out board from the looks of it uh, right here I don't know if you can see it this wire here is what powers your LEDs um, yeah pretty nice job Rockville especially for the price all right, nothing left to do here but to strap up the Rockville DB45 up to our trusty amp dyno and find out just how much power this $119 amp has. Um, we're, just so you know how we're going to do this test, we're going to do it bridged mode. So we're going to do bridged at 8 ohms and bridged at 4 ohms, um, which will simulate 4 channels at 4 ohms loaded and four channels at two ohms loaded. All right, um, we're doing that because number one, I just can't find my braking resistors in one of these boxes here in the move. And uh, two, it's a lot easier to do that on the amp dyno. So that's what we're gonna do here. And we're gonna find out, is this amp accurately rated? Is it underrated? Is it overrated? Um, let's see what we can get for 120 bucks from Rockville. So let's do it.
Okay, final thoughts here on the Rockville DB45 4 channel class AB amp. Yes, we have a budget gem. I mean, are they kidding me? $119, and you get an amp that bridged will do two times over 460 uncertified. That's just, that's nuts. That's 920, 920 full range class AB watts for $119. Do they, do they just hate making money? It, it, Rockville, are you owned by the mob and this is like some weird money laundering thing? I don't know, but all I know is I don't know how they do it. This is a, a really good amp. I'm not saying it's going to be the most durable. I mean, it's it's decent quality for what you pay, um, but the power's there. They're not lying with the CEA numbers that's on the back of the box. Now, I wish they didn't do some of these other power specs, like their peak and this weird, crazy RMS number that's not really true at all, but these CEA numbers are legit. So just kind of like how we found on the DB14, we find that same way on the 45. Hell of a value, very nice job Rockville. Thank you very much uh, to those guys for providing both of these amps to test. I know it's been a long time coming for me to do this four channel one, um, but again, I wasn't expecting to buy a new business and be moving. So, hey, life happens. Um, but glad to be back here, and I'm glad this is the one that kicks it back off. So, now it's time to give these away, because I know some people have been waiting I mentioned like back in September we were giving this one away and now here it is January and people are like hey are you ever giving this thing away yes we are finally so all you have to do to win one of these two amplifiers is just put in the comments something positive happy new year glad you're back something you know hey glad to see you don't still suck anything like that and uh at randomly I'll pick a winner for this one and a winner for this one so again thank you very much Rockville for providing both of these and um, that's it for me folks um, glad to be back happy new year and uh, until next time I got a lot more amps to test see ya